Item number SCP-3879 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Full Containment Deferred to GOI-466 Wilson's Wildlife Solutions as per the Boring Agreement Note Following the Ursus Maritimus Incident of 2008 the Boring Agreement was created as a binding document which allows Wilson's Wildlife Solutions to handle the containment of Euclid or safe fauna based anomalies within Coglomus County under the supervision of the SCP Foundation. Update SCP 3879 has been transferred to Foundation Containment in Site 64 as per Addendum 2 of the Boring Agreement. SCP 3879 is to be kept in a 20 by 40 meter enclosure surrounded by 5 meter tall concrete walls. 15 kilograms of papayas, mangoes, and bamboo shoots are to be provided to the entity on a daily basis. A lane. Note. Large animal internal medicine veterinarian from Site 64's biological containment wing is to submit weekly reports regarding SCP-3879's health to the project lead, currently Dr. Grace, on a weekly basis. Description SCP-3879 is an emaciated, mechanically altered male western lowland gorilla. Gorilla, gorilla, gorilla. It wears purple overalls with a gold-colored W embracing on the front across the chest. Her fabric appears to be fused to the entity's body, making its removal impossible. SCP-3879's arms end in metal eye hat symbols in place of hands, which it uses in locomotion, consumption of food, etc. When prompted, SCP-3879 will open its mouth and vocalize a requested musical piece. It begins and ends performance by clapping its symbols together. A medical examination has revealed the entity has been neutered and possesses minimal testosterone levels. Most of its teeth has been dulled and the canines removed, replaced with additional molars. X-rays have indicated its internal organs have been reorganized and removed to accommodate a metallic pianoa row which connects to its esophagus. SCP-3879 displays traits typical of depression such as lethargy, lack of appetite, and extended periods of restlessness. A note detailing the use of SCP-3879 was found in the left pocket of its overalls. A scanned image of the note is available below. Hello, my name is Walter the Musical Jolly Ape. This noble giant may look intimidating at first, but never fear. He can't hurt a fly. We make sure of it. Please make sure you read the following instructions before getting up to any shenanigans with your musical jolly ape by Dr. Wendertainment. Don't forget to feed Walter twice a day. Walter loves gumdrops, chocolate, and music. If we want Walter to perform for you, just say sing for me, Walter. Parental notice. For maximum playtime fun, it is recommended neither you or your children smile with teeth in front of Walter. Dr. Wendertainment is not legally morally or financially responsible for any injuries, death, or property damage resulting from the unsafe use of a musical jolly ape or any other Dr. Wendertainment products. By reading this document, you agree to all said terms and forfeit your rights to lawsuits, organized boycotts, protests, honor duels, etc. Acquisition SCP-3879 was originally discovered and contained by Wilson's Wildlife Solutions on September 2nd, 2008. Due to the low priority assigned to WWS, the submitted capture report was not revealed by Foundation personnel until January 22nd, 2009. An investigation into a possible connection between SCP-3879 and Dr. One Entertainment was initiated. The following document was discovered on Tim Wilson's desk by the Foundation Liaison. Document 3879-GOI-466 March 29, 2008 From the desk of the wackiest practitioner of whimsy. Dear Mr. Wilson, I'd like to thank you for 
being so eager to take Walter into your centre despite his oddities and your tight budgetary constraints. My predecessors had taken the brand to some truly dark places, and ever since I assumed a mantle, I have been working hard to ensure we turn our image around. The cage Walter was kept in was a cesspool of filth. He was covered head to toe in waste, and had bits of candy sticking to him. He was the only one of his product line to survive whatever the hell happened in that storage facility. But I digress. The fact that someone with so much love in their heart not only exists, but is ready and able to help the weird and wild with the world is wonderful. I knew my trust in you was well placed, Mr. Wilson. Those folks you call supervisors are trying to do good, but they lack that special touch you have. Please, keep me updated on Walter's condition. I hope he'll be able to lead as no more life as he can under your care and supervision. Once again, thank you. It's too boring being anything but... Dr. H. L. Entertainment Upon discovery of the document, a meeting was held to discuss an appropriate course of action regarding the collusion between Tim Wilson and Dr. Entertainment. Below is a list of actions proposed to acquire SCP-3879. Action. Reduce the foundation budget allotted to WWS. Status. Reject it. Reducing the funding given to WWS may lead to containment breaches, which may in turn lead to an ARBH end of the world scenario. Action. Revise the fifth paragraph of the borrowing agreement. Note. All final anomalies which the supervisors designate safe or Euclid class based in Oregon are to be contained by Wilson's Wildlife Solutions with supervision by the supervisors. To only allow WWS to contain safe class fauna anomalies. Status. Rejected. This would require Site-64 to contain several more entities in its biological wing, construct additional enclosures, and transport all the entities on site which would require expenditures the current budget cannot allow. Action. Revise the Boeing Agreement to strictly forbid WWS from containing anomalies with ties to other persons or groups of interest under threat of punishment. Status. Accepted. A proposition to the Boeing Agreement to include a clause which authorizes the Foundation to seize control of any anomaly contained by WWS of substantial proof could be produced indicating the entity had ties to other persons or groups of interest had been approved. A meeting between the Site-64 Board of Directors, MTF Beta-4, Castaways Captain Javier Guevara, and WWS Foundation Liaison for Lay Sinclair was organized to discuss the implementation of the proposed addendum. Tim and Phil Wynn Wilson, Alice Gosht, and Albert Westron or in attendance as representatives of Wilson's Wildlife Solutions, despite claiming rightful custody of SCP-3879, WWS conceded after three hours and a boring agreement was successfully addended. Extraction of SCP-3879 was scheduled for the following day. The following emails were exchanged between Tim Wilson and Roger Tarpin from the Department of External Affairs following the extraction of SCP-3879 from the Wilson Center. Howdy! You've been a great boon to the Center, and I wanted to keep relations amicable between us. But this could not have come at the worst time. We were making great progress with Walter. He'd finally put on a few pounds and was getting to be more sociable with a few of the other critters we have in the Terrestrial Center. This move is going to be big and scary for him. So... Please, make sure he feels comfortable. I'm going to include base notes on Walter as an attachment. As his primary caretaker, she knew him better than anyone. I hope he'll be of use to you. But I also hope you folks can reconsider and let us have Walter back. There's something we're proud of here at Wilson's. It's our ability to change a critter's life for the best. Hoping to see Walter soon. Tim Wilson Hello, we are thankful for your cooperation and understanding of your frustrations in regards to SCP-3879's situation. 
Please keep in mind we have taken SCP-3879 into our custody for its own good. Though I cannot share a lot of information with you due to your lack of security clearance, I can tell you the following. There are many out there who would try to bring harm to SCP-3879 simply due to its association with another anomalous group. We are on the same page here. Neither of us wants any harm to come to it. Thank you for providing us with these notes. I'll make sure they are given to SCP-3879's new handlers. The work you and your center do is highly appreciated. Additionally, please refrain from using non-encrypted emails to contact us. Instead, I request you use the email address we have provided you with. Thank you. Roger Tarbin, Department of External Affairs Representative, Secure, Contain, Protect.